Did the Ukrainian government plan to sell massive plots of fertile land off to George Soros' family? Russian state media is claiming a deal has been brokered to turn the area into a toxic waste dump. Let's take a closer look. According to the Russian state news agency TASS, Kyiv is selling off 400 square kilometers of fertile black soil to the family of George Soros, a Hungarian-American billionaire and philanthropist whose support for progressive causes has made him the subject of many conspiracy theories. Why? Well, allegedly so his family can turn the land in Ukraine into a massive dump for hazardous radioactive waste. The Russian state agency cites a certain Jules Vincent, said to be a French freelance journalist, behind these bombshell allegations. On his Twitter page, Jules Vincent published an audio recording where he first introduces himself in a non-native French accent, claiming he's been working as a reporter covering the environment for more than five years. He then gives the floor to an anonymous representative of the Ministry of Ecology and Natural Resources of Ukraine. Uh, according to this agreement, the Ukrainian lands are going to be given to foreign companies for indefinite and uh, gratuitous use uh, for the disposal of chemical waste. We decided to dig a little deeper by looking into the so-called French journalist. And apart from this post, we couldn't find any other original stories he had published in the past five years. Moreover, his Twitter account remained inactive for a couple of years until the person behind it suddenly started retweeting environmental content as of November this year. Moreover, in his Twitter bio, he claims to be part of a French association for freelance journalists. However, the group recently tweeted claiming this journalist has never been part of their association and asserted that the account is actually impersonating a reporter. But this didn't prevent other pro-Kremlin media from picking up this recording and sharing a screenshot alongside of a decree signed by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, which allegedly corroborates the journalist's findings. One of the decrees was signed on the 13th of November 2023. So to verify this, we checked the Ukrainian presidency's website. And there's only one decree that was signed on that date, and it has nothing to do with agricultural land or George Soros. The decree signed that date was to grant the honorary title of Hero of Ukraine to a soldier. For more fact checks and investigations, check out our website, yournews.com.